Hey everyone, Deborah from Online Learning here, and I'm about to take you on a magical trip through PlayPosit land in Canvas. All right, let's get started. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to get it set up and how to start an assignment with an interactive video through PlayPosit. So the first thing you see on my screen is the dashboard. I just signed in to Canvas, and I'm going to come into the PlayPosit workshop. Okay, from here, we're going to uh, scroll the page down. So let's go ahead and click Start. So let's begin by going into the assignments. The first thing that I'm going to ask you to do is click right here into From a Student's Perspective. This is the first assignment that you're going to complete. Okay, I'm not able to embed the video here just yet, but uh, you will see a video here when you do this uh, for real in the workshop. And when you do, you're going to just play the video. You're going to follow these directions on your own. And you're going to uh, observe the video and interact with it as if you were a student so that you can see what your students would see. Then you're going to learn how to create an interactive video through PlayPosit. All right, now that you have completed your first taste of PlayPosit from the student's point of view, be sure that you are no longer in the student view. Make sure that you have switched that off and you're now back in the instructor's view. And we're going to select modules. Now we're ready to build our own PlayPosit interactive video, otherwise called a PlayPosit bulb. We do this by clicking here into the custom exercise. And you'll see here the custom video that you're going to copy and paste into your own device from Canvas, after which we are going to learn to link, build, preview, and save this interactive video. In order to save a copy of this video onto your own device, just point to the video, right-click, and select Save Video As. Then navigate to wherever you want to save the video, and make sure that you change the name to custom. And then click Save. OK, you can go ahead and follow along with me. I'm going to click into Assignments. At this point, I'm going to stop, and the rest of the steps will be demonstrated in the live workshop. 